Hello, PBO fans and PBO YouTube channel. I am Zach, the New York Malamars. I'm here with Mr. Dozo. Uh, what's up, guys? What's up? Back again. And today we're going to be doing the Sunset Pick'ems Week 1. Little late, but better late than never. So, yeah, Dozo, you want to get on to this week. first game? Uh, first game, are we up to it? We got first game. Right, right, right. We've already got, got rain. What are your first thoughts with rain? You're the rain man. Zach? Uh, well, we don't have the big... Well, we have Barrascuta, but we don't have the overwhelming physical threat. is more of a, a speed threat, in my opinion, in this match. Wo Chien might be staying uh, grass here. The terrors on Wo Chien are kind of interesting. These aren't the normal terrors that you see on Wo Chien, right? Because if it terrors ground, it becomes weak to water. Um, if, become, if a Terra fires, it be also becomes weak to water. We don't have Terra water on Appleton, so it also does not want to Terra out of its type. And our only water resist is Tentacruel. But we do have the check-all physical threat in Petcherunt here. And we have easy screens access with two Prankster screen mons. So I don't know you'll actually see Barris Q to this, this game. It doesn't look like a great matchup for it in general. Um, our Chaladon, though... Well, we got we got Volt Absorb Thunderous, who should be there in this game, you would assume. So, I don't know that this is the greatest rain matchup because Petrant, because they don't have a Terra Water physical threat, uh, it's going to shut down Low Kicks, shut down Iron Boulder, shut down Barrascuta totally. Uh, that's what I see without really getting in depth. What are your first thoughts looking at the matchup? My first thoughts? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with everything there. Um... I actually don't hate the Wu Chien Terra types. When you look at it on the surface, yeah, they're not the regular types, but the guy's already got a really good poison type that Petreon's going to come to most games, so I can understand that. And um, the water, you could definitely could be water, um, but yeah, not too bad. But yeah, I think you're right. I think um, if, if Wu Chien comes, it's definitely going to be stay grass. Um, and if Apple comes, I think Apple could definitely be steel, but I could see it well where they both come. I think I still think Sableye's redundant when especially now that he's picked up um Grimmsnarl. Um so he could definitely make some use out of that slot. But I really like Iron Crown in this game. Um I'm not gonna take anything away from the power that um that the Magic Cups have got there. They've got a whole iron boulder, Jolteon's there. Um Jolteon could actually be abs actually be really terrifying in this game with um with ice or, or flying. I presume ice would be the terror it's gonna be. Um, I don't think Hitmontop comes um, pretty much. One thing that does surprise, like, like I did mention it when we did our recap, I actually do believe that like if, if this team, if this rain team had Overquill in that low kick slot, we're, we're looking at it, we're, we're talking about a whole different beast. Like an Overquill right now would absolutely murder that team with Swift Swim. If you could get an SD up, it has Crunch, Liquidation and, and uh, Gunk Shot or, or Barb Barrage. It's perfect coverage to break down and beat that entire team. So what? Um, but when, at when the you, moment, yeah. When you mention that, what I see now when I really look at it, the the Dragapult Specs Dragapult resist is low kicks. Next to nothing. So I feel like that yeah, by there, definition, that's a huge. That's going to be a huge. He has nothing to tear out of it. We'd have to do the calcs on specially defensive Amoongus, which probably has to be in this game to try to pseudo check. The dragon, uh, excuse well, me, Amungus, the dragon. Amoongus has to be the spadef check. Amoongus has to be the, has to be the spadef check. It has, just has to be. Um, but yeah, that that's a big drum with this roster. Unless he goes with AV, um, obviously AV, even AV um, on Iron oh, Boulder isn't going to stop Dragon Ball. No. But um, yeah, Barrascuta can definitely do some work. I think, honestly, a physically defensive Rocky Helmet. Um, Wu Chien is a pain in the backside this game with Giga Drain and Leech Seed. Yeah, I think like, I'm. I think after yeah. be, because there's just no, there's no uh, check to Dragapult really. Like any of this, like yeah. I mean, uh, our Chaladon is a d decent physical check, but again, as somebody who has Archaladon, you need another steel because it's not a real steel. It's we it's neutral the dragon. So Draco yeah, Specs right. Draco Meteor might kill Archaladon without like decent 
like special defense investment, not just HP. Like it'll need special defense yeah, investment to you, even if, live that hit. If if the bell sprouts can find a way to get out of get it Pelipper, um, I, I'm gonna find it really really hard for exactly what you just said. Yeah. Specs pole has no switch. And then also um, an, it's interest, just two yeah, an interesting thing is Tentacruel has rain dish. So they, the other team can utilize the rain in this to make Tentacruel Gen 5 Tentacruel, which is was might have been banned, or it's, if it's not banned, it's one of the best in the metagame. Because this thing can hold AV with recovery in this game, if it wants to, because it can utilize yeah. the rain dish. I was, I was, I, mean, I think I forgot to mention that earlier. I actually do look at these games, and I'm like, oh wow, like an iron, um, like a lot of the Badger Cups rain actually helps with Pelipper, it helps it helps uh, Thunderous become even more of a threat. It helps <coughs> Wuchian, it helps Tenacruel, it helps Iron um Iron Crown. Um but yeah so obviously my my vote's gonna probably lean towards the Cherry Hill Bell Sprouts. Yeah. But I'm never gonna rule out Rain from out an upset because Rain is just phenomenal. Yeah. But yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Bell Sprouts for this, what, this uh, first game. I think I'd have this as I'm going to go 55, 45 Bell Sprouts. I think it's relatively close because, again, like you said, we. I, I also. Yep. This, the, the player for Magic Carps is quite good. I've never seen Bell Sprouts play. So I'm going to say he yep. has a plan. Amoongus. It's also a bad Amoongus matchup because there's two grass types that to, uh, to kind of nullify the spore. And say you bring, for instance, uh, Safety Goggles Petrant, that thing can just set up on Amoongus. So it's to me. Yeah. I'm going to go 55, 45 in respect to Magic Carp's the player, but I think that the team with Dragapult and no re, like good Ghost Resist has to be the favorite. Yeah, with you there, with you there. Okay. Righto, let's move into the next one. Okay, Oof. we've got champions against Chimchars. Um, it's I know it sounds pretty bad, but I just it's who does the Chimchars want to win with? Cinderace, Baxcalibur. Nine Tails, Articuno, Lilligant. Um, this is a phenomenal uphill battle for the champions. But saying that, there's a whole, there's a Goldango, a Blood Moon, a a uh, Kirim, and a whole damn. Yeah. So the King benefit Gambit you there, see so for, for the, happen. I think we agree it's in the Chimchars here. What's the benefit for Goldango? The snow helps Kirim, right? It helps Kirim as well yeah. as well as Baxcalibur. Uh, there's no grounded poison on the other team, so if you just set up toxic spikes, there, if there's no easy way to get rid of them, right? You have def you could run Defiant, King Gambit to get a boost from Defog is the only removal on the other side. I well, mean, you you have you know, Cinderace, I I, right? But I think I may have made I think I may have made a mistake with that team. I'm pretty sure they have the Viper. Oh, okay. Okay. Pretty, I'm pretty sure they do. Look, I can confirm. You just continue on there, but I'm pretty certain yeah. I'll just have a quick quick check. I'm pretty sure they have yeah, like, Viper. Like Dozo said, Chimchars has a lot. It has a lot of advantages. I mean, I get you. You know, you have Ditto to take advantage of possible setup. Uh, Baxcalibur, which you think it would want to do in the snow. I think Band Baxcalibur is better most of the time. I always ran Band or, or SD Slow Baxcalibur, so even a Choice Scarf on the other side isn't going to get that much value. Also, funny enough, Chimchar's on his own team has the best Baxcalibur check, probably in Empoleon. So, yeah, it's going to be tough. We talked about this Golden Go team before because of the lack of type synergy and the consistent weaknesses. Luckily, there's no really strong natural fighting type on the other team to take advantage of all these weaknesses. But it also has a big shared ground weakness, and Ting Lu is right there. So with no attack investment, Ting Lu can just sit there forever and Earthquake for free, pretty much. Yeah. Um, yeah can confirm the uh, Survivor is on the Chimchar's team. Okay, so then that that, just, that doesn't just... yeah that doesn't make that as free. I don't know how often Survivor will come, but at least that's a thing that's there. But yeah, I think this I is like I actually think this is I actually think this is the Viper game. Yeah. I, like if you're gonna bring Survivor at all this season. I think this is the type of game with Intimidate. It's actually is it have it doesn't have an Intimidate or is that Arbok? I think it's Arbok. No, yeah, it doesn't have Intimidate, unfortunately. But Glare Spam is really solid. Yeah, um, Glare is a very powerful move. Especially if you get a Glare move. up on Ditto. Yeah, um, but I think this one is. I th I'm gonna uh, nice and say this is eighty five fifteen for Chimchars, in my opinion. Oh, I 100 percent agree with that eighty five fifteen. 
Uh, okay, because Kiram is here. Kiram is here. Ditto can always reverse sweep Gambit. Golden Goes will always have a chance because he has the Ditto and he has the uh, Gambit. Right? And Blood Moon is annoying. Yeah. So they're good guys. So the ty typing-wise, he should get blown out, but he has a lot of get-out-of-jail-free cards with just the power level of some of these guys. Okay. Um, I think, as you were saying, I th I th I'm just going to cap off. I think Bandit Baxcalibur is a, is a good option here purely because he doesn't want to have... If that Ditto comes in, again, it's his Bandit. Um, so he can, he's, he's not getting that Bandit boost. So it's only just a standard Baxcalibur. Um, and I, I don't see Cinderace having a boosting item. I, I don't like... I don't think... Um, and the only two that could might that might boost on him are those um, Lilligan and Articuno. Yeah, saying in saying that, in saying that, um, I could definitely definitely see a team where with Golden Go, Blood Moon, and Kiram with King Gambit, I could definitely see some like a, a talented enough player um, jag jag the win out of that. So yeah. I'm, I'm going to swap back to eighty twenty. Okay. Um, I think. I think the Chimchar win for sure, but um, at the same time, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. So we're in right rough on, agreement one. on that one. Let's see what's next. The Hong Kong Heatrans against the Worcester Whoopers. The Worcester Whoopers, the, the high school team. It's a it's a hell of a team. It's a hell of a team. It, it is a hell of a team. Um, I, I feel I'm feeling a little bit like on the Trans team, that, uh, the Heatran team, that uh, I'm just a little bit lost of which direction. Like, I, I feel it's just, it's got a bunch of guys on there. That, does that make sense? I don't, yeah, I mean, what, what, I, feel, what I feel like when I look at this is, so it, it'll have plenty of chances to come in. Sub Enamorous is just devastating in this game. Like, Sub Nasty Plot, Earth Power, Moon Blast just rocks this whole team. Like, I don't know how it stops that. Um... Assuming they have to switch something into it, right? Quackable. Uh, we have a yeah. decent Quackable check in, in uh, what's it called? Uh, Quagsire here, Quagsire. right? Um, what's yeah. the, again, the, and even, the, even, even, even the thumb thwacky. Yeah. What, and what we talked about, uh, in the team preview, the, the fairy is out creamy, so it almost has to come. But if it doesn't, there's a high drapple that can just shoot. You know, Draco Meteors at this team because the steel is not going to be able to do... First of all, it has Earth... Well, that doesn't affect uh, Earthworm. But it um, it's not... Because of the special defense weakness that it has, it has the Fortress sy Syndrome. Earthworm, if you've ever tried to use it as a special check, it doesn't matter if it resists the move. It's going to get killed. It's going to yeah, take like, like 60. I, I, see, I see absolutely no switch outside of cream. There's no switch to Appleton and Spex Draco Meteor. Yeah, if, if, I, if I was running, if I was running Walchester's team, like I'm making him bring Alchemy, and even if Alchemy comes, I still have Leaf Storm, which is not that bad into almost anything on this team, right? Like nothing is really taking yeah. it that well, unless it's Spadef Tornadus, uh, which it's it's not weird. You could have AV Tornadus, but then again, if it gets hit with the Draco, what's it gonna do? Um, yeah. Also, you know, you I could agree. have Nasty Plot Hydrapple in this game because there's a lot of opportunity to set up on this. So if they do switch in the Alchemy, you Nasty Plot, they Drain and Kiss you, I guess. You Leaf Storm them and they die. So Toxapex switches in as a check. It's very passive. You just Nasty Plot it. If it's not Spadef, if it's Fizdef, probably also dies to Leaf Storm or Draco Meteor or Earth Power. Um, yeah, Earth Power too. So I, um, I like I Incineroar here too. I don't think Incineroar has a lot of huge decks. Taking knockoffs, throwing will o wisp around, yeah. um, could be really, really pain in the backside for that Iron Hands. Saying that, um, I'll never count out an Iron Hands. Um, I think Glamora and Toxapex almost cancel each other out. Yeah. I think Pex is going to have to come as Spidef. Yeah, I really do. To. Like when you've got a Slow King there, you've got an Enamorous, you've got that big uh, Hydrapple damage. Um, I think it just has to come. I, I, I don't. I think Miss Magius is definitely the terror of this game. I just don't see with a Orthworm around um, yeah. many opportunities for the whale. Yeah, Whoopers. Um, I still think I think we talked about this in the uh, what's yeah, it called? We did. In the you should you should drop that. Not because I don't like him. I just think the Titans redundant. You really need that Hisuian Electrode. 
But let's talk about what does yeah. Hong Kong have in its favor. Its best special attacker can beat Slow King. So that's good. That's a strong point for it. Um, so if yeah. I was looking at... Well, how... look, we, we, we have overlooked the whole Darkrai. Darkrai is yes. the fastest mom on the field. Yeah. And Darkrai is absolutely phenomenal. You get the nasty part of a Darkrai. Psychic, dark coverage, psychic, psychic coverage, dark coverage, and poison coverage. That's perfect coverage for this team. Yeah, Darkrai has like everything it needs to beat everything if it boosts. The problem is if if it's some combination of Kukwavel and Incineroar. So Incineroar knockoff U-turn with like AV is and Intimidate is pretty good in this game. And that's a pretty decent Darkrai check if it doesn't have Focus Blast and then it still has to hit Focus Blast, which threatens it with U-turn yeah. and free switches. But the advantage, so he does have that going for him and that Darkrai beats the check all special wall on the other team. It's faster than an Amorous, and it'll probably kill it with a Sludge Bomb or an Ice Beam. I'd have to do the calcs, but an Amorous is kind of paper if you've never used it before. It kind of dies to everything. Um, I could definitely see, um, I could definitely see Incineroar you running a Trailblaze uh, to hit Quagsire, like yeah. a knockoff Trailblaze. If you, if you like you were saying that for an Intimidate set uh, for an Assault Vest set, yeah. Um, Bonatus, I think, I, I honestly believe for the Hong Kong team that the game plan is going to be. Get some rocks up, get some spikes down. Um, the turtle can either be probably the turtle's going to be set up or a utility spin. Yeah. Um, so Tornadus is going to be a knock offer. Um, Mew can do anything in this game. Like it really can do anything. It could take quick room for Iron Hands or whatever. Um, I think Thwacky's not terrible in this game because um, mm -hmm. Thwacky can knock off. Uh, it has Drain Punch. It has. Um, Grassy Glide, and so gra Grassy Glide's actually quite good into this, into Iron Treads, into uh, Quackleval, into uh, Gloak, Sloking there, and uh, Glamora. So it, it, it's got some utility there. Uh, Orthworm, Orthworm is going to be a pain if he brings it to position, yeah. um, but I could definitely see, if, if Orthworm and Al Cream come, I don't think Al Creamy doesn't tear up. Iron Hands is definitely um, his best guy in this game. Iron Hands threatens this whole yeah. team with one hit KOs, probably. Yeah. Um, yeah, so what do you Iron run? Hands, Ice... Choice Bandit Iron Hands yeah. could be a threat. You run Ice Punch, Earthquake, Thunder Punch, and whatever last fighting move. Just like Drain Punch, whatever. Um, yeah. You'd have to do even, the Calx even to a Salt Fest. Yeah, you could probably run AV. You'd have to do the Calx. Like, if it's special... Slow King, which it probably needs to be to like stomach some dark right hits. Uh like yeah. Max Attack Thunder Punch might kill, honestly. Um you could be expert it's belt. Very well put, very well put. Yeah, you could be expert belt. Like you could do Iron if 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 Hong Kong, I'm gonna go 70 30. Now you know what? I'm gonna go 75 25 because I I the Wolchester has a ton of advantages. But hands is good, and Dark Rai is here and can beat the special wall. So there's definitely ways if they can get some chips somewhere, get some hazards up. Um, maybe they can do something. Quagsire is pretty good against a lot of these guys. It can shut down the two top physical attackers, I'd say, in Treads and Quaquavel. So he has some play. And the, uh, he has some play, right? So I'm going to give him, you know what, 70-30. I'll go 70-30, Whoopers. Yeah, well, I was I was just saying, I think it's closer than we, when we think. Well, I don't know about the skill level of Hong Kong. But I'm gonna go like 60 40 because I just the speed tiers are so in Hong Kong's favor. Like he could literally run Bandit or Specs Tornadus, Bandit or uh, you know with Specs um, uh, Darkrai and really overwhelm um, his opponent's team. And I think a possible setup new could even be a pain in the backside, um, as well as he's got that um, the turtle in the back. Like the turtle with. I believe um, if Miss Magius comes, makes the turtle's life a bit harder because I was like, oh, you know, a rock polish or a, a rapid spin, calm mind, um, terror storm with earth power is, is beautiful coverage, but the levitate ghost would actually make that like obviously impossible to pull off. But yeah, I think it's going to be a really good game. It's it's, it's probably close to game of the week, um, but yeah, let's move on okay, um, let's to see what's next. Is my boy your, Jason versus mother. These are both your guys. Uh, these are your guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Andy messaged me out of the blue. He's like, "Oh, I heard the review video. 
I couldn't. I was. I was shocked. I didn't think it was. Didn't think. I didn't realize you were in here. And I'm like, oh yeah, well, I'm, I am. Um, this game is going to be tough for both. Um, I think Andy really has his work cut out in for that top three. I think they are just phenomenal into Andy's team, and he'll know that. Um, I don't see any clear advantages from either team. Uh, I see checks for everything on either team. Um, I could definitely see a world that Reggie Steele is iron defense um, and makes life really hard with a nice bit of set because um, Andy's really, really good with Reggie Steele. Um, Latios with Luster Purge is going to be really hard to switch into. Luster and Draco with the Soldier could be really, really nice. Yeah, I think that has um, to be Zong. Zong, um, it's, it's, it can sit on things for quite some time. Like, like Bronzong, really, realistically here, Bronzong could be really, really painful as well. Um, just with an iron defense. Bronzong is but good in this that, game. Bronzong is good in this game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. With, with with Tusk around, not letting Tusk get off uh, earthquakes is, is handy. Um, I think the big one for Andy is if he gets... I think Vikavolt looks phenomenal. Vikavolt. Yeah, it's Vikavolt is the guy. Um, Vikavolt looks absolutely phenomenal. So it forces Killer Watchful if Killer Watchful comes to run um, Vault of Zorts. Um, it can threaten with webs. You know, like it can be, it can come now bulky with Terror Electric. It can come bulky with, with, um, and still be doing massive damage with that special attack stat. Um, Jace, Jace was one of the big ones who took a lot of, um, a lot of advice out of the, out of the, um, what do you call it? What we do? The, uh, recaps? Yeah, the team. Analysis, team. Um, as he made a lot of changes. Uh, obviously didn't realize Oricorio could Terra, so that's now become a Terra captain. So he's got two special Terras, but that's okay. Toad Scroll's still there. I like Toad Scroll there for his team. I think it's pretty solid. Yeah. He brought Zong in um, instead of Metagross. Uh, that would, but I know he brought Zong in instead of Metagross because that fit Blaziken into the roster. Um, I think Blaziken changes the whole aspect of his team. Blaziken could Blaziken even come beast. mix this game. Like it's, it's super good. Yeah, what's, the, what's the Blaziken set? He just has to get through... Uh... I wonder if Overheat kills Tusk. Tusk. Like well, some... I, that's what I was thinking. Like a, a random Overheat. Like if he was, like if he ran a random Overheat, it would probably do a lot of t damage to Tusk. And he can switch Bronzong in, and Bronze and Tusk is not going to stay in against a Bronzong. No, who is then free not. to throw off a Heavy no. Slam, Stealth Rocks, or a or a Psychic Noise, um, even a Body Press. So it's it's going to be interesting too. Two steel types are actually very, very similar in a lot of ways. Yeah, I think uh, I think a mixed Greninja set is strong. You have to hit the gunk shot. Yep. But if you have the water move, the gunk shot, and the ice move with U-turn, maybe, that's a pretty strong set in this game. Uh, you have to chip yep. Bronzong, yep. on, but you get the free U-turns. Is Greninja faster than uh, the bird, or is the bird faster? No. No, no, the bird's fastest. Bird's fastest one here, 125 base okay. speed, with Greninja being topping out at 122. Okay. Of course, if Greninja gets a Battle Bond kill, um, it will be faster, and it will be the fastest one on the field. Um, okay. You are exactly right. And I think you. I think it's forced with the big Spadef level there of... Um, Umbreon? Uh, Ogre Pom, oh, um, that it's probably going to have to bring a mix set, which is actually works in Jason's favor, because then it can't fall... Like, it, it's going to... It can't... In, in, if it vests... In attack and special attack and whatever speed it needs because it needs a lot of speed because yeah. like jason's it's got to outspeed um the one tens which are ogapon and laddie um so it's gonna have to need a lot of speed it's gonna need probably timid or jolly or naive or whatever that needs to be yeah this is but then clefable could could very well clefable could very well run a poison berry and then greenwich is in a tough spot again like yeah, the thunder wave a, there this is a super hard. interesting game i think the the best, the only Pokemon that I see with little drawback other than its innate Mon drawbacks is the Vikavolt. Terra Electric Vikavolt yep. with the bug coverage is quite good. Yep. And then if it has any neutral move on Kilowattrel, it'll it'll do a ton of damage regardless. So I, I, it's unfortunate that the, there's a Volt Absorb guy here. Um, but the other, the, the ground is weak to bug or neutral. I think I can't. I can never remember which resists which. Like, 
But does ground yeah. resist bug? I don't even remember. I can't even remember now. Yeah, it's one or the other. No, Actually, I think, I think this, bugs this is resist a, this earthquake, is a genuine, right? Yeah, this is a genuine 50-50. I'm loving the Gen 1 poisons. Muck versus Arbok. Yeah. Um, but I think this is a genuine... Yeah, genuine 50-50. Yeah, this is a 50-50 for me. Arbok, I see no... Arbok can have a place in this game. Yeah. Hey, That's Glare always has Glare a place. Glare is good. And Intimidate. Yep. I see. Uh, like, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna go fifty-fifty on this one. I think that there is a a really good Roaring Moon set. You just gotta figure out what it is. It's probably banned with Iron Head, U-Turn, Knock Off, and a Dragon move yeah. or Earthquake, maybe one of those moves. And yeah, then if you so, can get rid of the Clefable and like just spam Knock Off, then I didn't talk to Andy this week about his team because I, I I do a lot of prep with Jace. Um, but I may, I did make a team, and I actually haven't didn't get a mock in with Chase, just because we struggled to line up because of work and stuff. Um, but I, I was bringing Choice Banded, um, Roaring Moon with Webs, um, and Terra Electric Viper Bolt in that mock. Um, and I, I was like, I, good luck, because this is this this Roaring Moon is hitting like a bus. Yeah, I think if I have to make a pick, I'm gonna go fifty one forty nine. Caterpies, because I think I think Moon has a really good set, and I think Vikavolt has a really good set, and I don't know that anything on Our Believers has a good set other than that it's good, just in this particular game. Although I do think a mixed Blaziken with Overheat, Swords Dance, and like EQ could be good with a Fighting move. I don't know what actually stops that on this team. You know, yeah, uh, once right. it's chipped, like Tusk switches in and you overheat it, take some damage. It can only switch in once. The speed boost, you outspeed everything, and you punch it. Um, so, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to go slight, the minimalist of edges to Caterpies in this game, because I see two good guys. Maybe two and a half yeah, with Greninja. Like, the, the good thing for, for the Caterpies is that Umbreon looks terrible this game. So, uh, that's phenomenal. If when, when Umbreon looks bad, you know, that's a great that's a great thing, because you, you can't bring that wish user. Um, yeah, look. You know, you said it last week. It's gonna there's gonna be a game where you're gonna have a really good team, but then the other team's gonna have a really good team, and it's gonna come down to is that player, you know, a skill level thing. Um, and I know both of these are a very high skill set, so I'm very interested to see. I'm, I'm going to lean with you though with the Caterpie, but I. Yeah, it's a very like slight difference for me. If, I just think Moon, Moon Moon late game seems really good to me, so it might come down to the, a nip and yeah. tuck. And then if Moon is around at the end, once some of its checks are gone, if it can just spam Knock Off, because there's not going to be an Umbreon probably, that'll probably still do yeah. 40 to Blaziken, Choice Ban, Knock Off. So. And I think Blaziken it's might not need, right. it might not be able to run Protect this game, because I like Mixed, I like Overheat for Tusk, or Tusk is just going to stuff it the whole game. So um, I, d I definitely think we're going to see both these teams in the finals. I think okay. both these teams are quality. Okay. Or so thereabouts. Very slight lean okay. towards Caterpies. Let's see what we got next. Yeah. Okay, we got Helsinki and we got the the fan favorite, the man of the people, Sin City. What do you think, Dozo? I, I like that he brought in the Indeedies. Um And at the moment, Crocodile looks phenomenal. Tell me like what a moxie, moxie crook can be pulled up by. Because it's, it's gotta, just yeah, it's cooking be here. Terra. Uh, Diancy, right? It's got to be Terra Water Diancy, um, or Fairy, whatever. Um, the Indeedies could come and provide a lot of a lot of frustration, a lot of pain towards. Like we're just with Hyper Voice and Dazzling Gleam, they can hit that um, Skunk Tank. Not the bulkiest mod in the world. He hasn't got a Witch Passer, um, and the Sun sort of gets negated late game with a. Um, with Sneasler there. Um, I don't know if Iron Bundle comes, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it for some reason. Um, but I don't think this is an under, but I think this game is a Sneasler Primarina. I like Primarina here still. Yep. Um, as like maybe an AV sort of set. Just sort of tanks. It just sort of negates walking weight. Yeah. Um, Snorlax looks really solid. If Snorlax gets some curses up here, it could be game. Um, saying that, Ursa Luna has some absolutely phenomenal damage options here. Um, it, it's going to be weird. It's going to be one of those games that, for the weather, if the weather can get on top and stay up, it's going to run over them. 
But I wouldn't be surprised if, look, as hell's sake, he's not going to just roll over and let him have the sun and let him, ha you know, have his own way. Um, Sizzle, I think, really does make life hard for Bundle um, in this matchup. There's no fighting resist on this team at all. So that's not the best no. thing against the Sneasler because if the Sneasler gets the unburden, like the weather doesn't matter. It's going to outspeed everything regardless, right? So I think you could probably outspeed everything with Adamant nearly. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll need Jolly because of Saw's Buck. Yeah, but um, I think that might be an issue is that there's nothing that resists fighting at all. So if this thing gets a... Unless, again, unless it's Terra Fairy Diancie, we already said it needs to be water or... You know, whatever. Diancie's probably going to be in this game, right? So, um, it's going to be difficult if it's like... If it's set up Sneasler and it gets set up, it probably just wins this game. Because there's no priority except for Bullet Punch, which is strong. But Sneasler, if they're running the terrain, I, I think that Psychic is a... Spe I, actually, no, Psychic is the special defense boost. So that's not ideal yeah. for this particular... But I guess it could be ideal against the Bolt. So actually that might be better because I think Sneasler has lower special defense. Yeah. So I think Sneasler is a pretty easy win con from their, them if they can set it up. Because I don't know what on this team can actually take a plus two close combat. Maybe defensive... Uh, what's it called? The banana guy. The Entei guy. Um, yeah. Gouging yeah. fire. Gouging. Yeah, gouging and not and uh, I the Diancy defensive just regular without Terra probably can take one. I don't know that it may be Scizor defensive, but then it's defensive Scizor and not you know it would have to be set up Scizor then. So I think uh, the strongest thing I see on the board is Sneasler because there's no fighting resist. Um, also late game they they almost are locked into having to bring the skunk tank. And that's not exactly something that's going to stick around. If Skunk Tank's gone, then at the end of the game, just Indeedee spam in the Psychic Terrain or Latios spam in the Psychic Terrain, which Latios is super easy to set up. A weakness policy, agility at the end of the game, like special defense takes a Draco from something and probably lives because of its huge bulk. Um, I could see that happening. I think I like Helsinki in this game. Yeah, I think it's I think it's very close as well. Um, it's it's going to come down to can how 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 good is Helsinki? Yeah. Um, and if their if their logo is anything to go by, well, they've been playing since twenty sixteen, at least in draft league, or the team's been established in twenty sixteen. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna as much as I love Drew and Sin City, um, I'm gonna lean that way as well. I just think there's enough. Upside like Primarina could very easily run Rain Dance to disrupt. Um, it could Bundle could even run Rain Dance like if it came. Um, like as you mentioned with the agility, um, Laddie can set up, it's got Mist Ball and, and you know Draco and all that sort of stuff there. The Indeedies, like Indeedies could be a screen set here, um, as well. Like the female Indeedy, which is a bit bulky, could come with the screen. Yeah. And all of a sudden, then you've got a you've got Sneasel setting up in the back, but it's it's the threat of Sneasel. You know, it's only going to take one turn, one misplay from Sin City, um, and a healing wish is going to go off and straight into Sneasel. It's going to come out. It's going to SD, and it's just going to blow them back. Yeah, I would say most so almost all the time. As somebody, I think I mentioned this in the uh, both team previews. As somebody who's used Sneasler and taken it to the finals. Most of the time, I do not think the Unburdened set is the best set. This game is an exception to that. Because once yeah, you get it set up, Sneasel, I don't Sneasel know what great. stops it. I, I agree with you with that. Sneasel is absolutely phenomenal with his other abilities. Yeah. Um, I can see, I could see a world that Skarmory may even come and just run and spike stack. Like, Spike, spike and Rocks here look phenomenal. There's yeah, no way to remove them. Uh, uh, our only removal is the Sizzler, Sizzler. right? Yeah. Remember so, Skunk Tank used yeah, to that, have Defog? People of the PBO Nation. Skunk Tank had Defog. Give Skunk Tank that back. It would be okay if it had that. Yeah, it had Defog, but it never had Knock Off, and now it's got Knock Off, so... It needs both. Oh, it yeah. Needs both. <laughs> it both. It does, it does, because it's, it's, it's when you compare it to the other Dark... Uh, it's easily the worst Dark Poison type. 
Like yeah. I'm talking, I I much I would prefer Hussey and Kulkish over it. Okay, um, so but I'm gonna anyway. go. I'm gonna go 55 45 Helsinki. I'm gonna differentiate. I'm gonna go with 55 45. Sin City. Okay, just we got because our, just we got, to be different, because we've, we we've agreed on everything. Disagreement. Okay, let's see what's next. So, I just, I just want, I want through to win this. Okay, this right. is maybe the well, most interesting team in the league to me: the Rocky Harbor Rock Ruffs, and another extremely interesting team. Both of these teams breaking traditional norms for the most part. We have Syracuse Snorlax yeah. versus Rocky Harbor Rock Ruffs. What do we think? Uh, I'm thinking spikes on both teams look really nice. Um, the Samurai looks really good until I look up and I'm like, oh, there's a Mandibuzz, oh, there's a Keldeo, um, which is interesting. Florges can pass wishes around. This is going to be a pain. I think um, the Rock Ruffs are going to want to get at Gudra, and once they get at Gudra, um, a late game... Um, the Oxys can just win this game, but Spectria looks phenomenal. If you get a nasty pot up with Spectria, um, get Skeledurge into range, that what stops Skelet? What stops Draining Kiss Shadow Ball? Not too much. Um, um, if you have Spadef, uh, what's it called? Mandibuzz, you'll get a Toxic off, assuming it's not sub. I might run sub. Well, I don't know if Calm Mind would work. I think it'll always break the sub with a knockoff from Mandibuzz. But Mandibuzz being the check is tough. And then Floor just can take the hits. But, oh, that's why I was thinking Calm Mind. I might run sub Calm Mind here just to beat Floor just, so that Floor just can never break my sub. The one, the downside, and the, the, I mean, other than stats, the biggest difference between Spectrier and. It's like Calyrex thing is Spectre does not have Psy Shock, so it can get stuffed just by special walls. If it had Psy Shock on top of everything it already has, it would be like it probably it. I, it still shouldn't be in draft play in my opinion, but that's the one thing it's missing is it cannot actually damage special walls if they could set up with it. So in theory, um, you know they could just calm mine in front of each other, but yeah. Spectre seems like it should go off here, but we do have something rare that just naturally outspeeds it with the Deoxys speed. Yeah. Um, I think um, Glow King can definitely have a big impact in this roster. Like, outside of an Earthquake, I think it's pretty much from from offensive landers. I think it can tank sort of anything mm -hmm. if built correctly. Like, I've used it myself. I absolutely love Glow King. It might be my favorite new draftsman to use. Um, Cloaking future side here looks really, really nice. You can pass toxics around, um, and sl obviously sludge bombs and that sort of sh stuff too. So yeah, this um, is, and this is usually and set the case. I, did, in, I uh, used. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, I was the just set thinking, I used. Uh, you, you go, mate. You go. No, no, I was just gonna say, as in most games, uh, rev of room if it gets set up, kind of can't be stopped. Yes. If it's Terra flying to take away the ghost, uh, excuse me, the uh, ground weakness, then say it's out on Don Fan. Don Fan can't do that much damage to it with non stab ice ice spinner or ice shard through filter. And if that's set up, what does it need? Ground, ice head, poison move can do significant. Or you could even run Terra Blast for the Toro, so you could just run Terra Blast, um, ground move. Steel move, and that does significant damage to everything. So that's an advantage that they have. Um, yeah, I like um, Talon Flame in this game um, in a few regards, but at the same time, it like doesn't do enough in a lot of situations. But I'm probably leaning towards the Rock Ruffs here in a 65. Yeah, I think um, I, I I think I like Rock Ruffs because there's not really a great way to stop this. Uh, Rever room and I think there's enough counterplay to Spectrier. They have to come up with a really particular set because Mandy Buzz can just get a toxic because Mandy Buzz still for some reason has toxic. Why? Who knows? But it can still get a toxic off on the Spectrier and like limit it and just roost. And yes, it can set up in Draining Kiss. So maybe you run Rocky Helmet 
Like who's who's setting? Okay, now they got a good rocker, so maybe not Rocky Helmet. But if you wanted to run that set, if you just wanted a Spectrier check, Rocky Helmet, Toxic, Knockoff, Mandibuzz will beat it every time one on one, because uh, Draining Kiss well, is contact. Is there a world that uh, Skeleturge runs a little bit of speed, well, whatever speed's needed, um, and runs a Calm Mind set? Because Skeleturge gets Calm Mind, if, might, if I believe that. Yeah. Am I right? That way, the Spectria, like, one Calm Mind, and all of a sudden, it's really taking Spectria. It's outside of Specs. I think Spec Spectria could also be really solid here. Yeah, I mean, um, if it's... Just if, throwing off Shadow Balls. In, in most games, I would always run Spec Spectria. This is the one, like... I'd have to mock the game to see. Like, also, like, we haven't talked about, you know, Landorus is sitting right here, and there's not really anything great to stop it from just spamming no, it's EQ. Sort of up to yeah, if you, just, if you just have what U turn, rock move, earthquake, sub, you could just sub on the switch, and then you get a free hit or a switch out, like with leftovers. Because Whimsicott. Yeah, like this, the like team needs a wish passer. Yeah. Yep. Well, they need a, a, a lot of Momola, or they need a Vaporeon into this team, I think, over yeah. Tauros. I think there's too much, like, uh, Meow Skarad also we haven't talked about is crazy in this game. Play rough, knock yep. off, ice move, yep. U-turn. Um, will still yep. damage Hasui and Gudra, even if it's fully defensive, because, like, it can, it can un, with no drawback, just click triple axle do like 30 damage to fully defensive Gucci maybe 40 and then you turn out and nothing and it can't recover the health like you said so uh, yeah i'm gonna go rock roughs uh whatever 60 40 sounds good to me because like they still have spectrier and there's not a great spectrier check but i think manny buzz because it has toxic can almost and it can always break its sub no matter what it does so i think it'll probably always get a toxic off and spectrier won't be able to sweep so then I'd have to say, yeah. can the rest of the team get into a late game scenario where Spectre can clean up? And I don't think it can. So I'm going to go 60 yeah, 40 look, Rock Ruffs. Um, um, yeah, I'm the same. Like Bandit, Bandit Lando is going to be absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. Right. Okay. okay. Let's move on. Last game of Last the round. Game. Last game. Game of the round. Okay. So Gotcha got, versus Iron Valley. Yep. Toki Teddy Ursus versus. This is our number one and number two ranked teams. So we're going to find out. If we were right or not, uh, Santa Cruz Swadaloons, we got the uh, top heavy team against the top heavy team, Dozo. What do you say? It's just, <clears throat> sorry, every ta everything that either of them has has a counter. Um, that Iron Valiant just looks phenomenal um, with even just a mix set like Moonblast Close Combat looks really, really nice. Um, it's going to be rough. It's going to be a tough game for both of them, to tell you the truth. I see. Um, right I like Mian Chow, what Mian Chow can do here. I think fake outs from Mian Chow are important for things like Dragonite and, and um, Iron Valiant. Yeah. Um, breaking up Satchers, um, Reggie Alecki, uh, that sort of stuff as well. Um, Overquill probably wants to run Intimidate, but at the same time, it probably can't afford it. I don't see a lot of good switch ins to an offensive Garchomp. Yeah. Um, yeah. T Tokyo, we need. I demand more anything. offensive Garchomp this season. Let's see yeah, some yeah, more offensive sure. Garchomp. Fire Blast, Earthquake, um, Swords Dance, Scale Shot. But the big one here for me, mate, is is Annihilate. If it gets going, I don't see how the Sword Loons can handle it. Like, Annihilate is just the ultimate pain in the backside Pokemon. Because it has fantastic coverage. It has multiple sets it can run with AV, Bulk Up, Chesto, Choice Scarf, Choice yeah. Band, um, a berry, like a Resist Berry, which is very uncommon, a Citrus Berry even. Um, this thing is just stupid good. So it's going to be rough. So, I think Melodic's going to be a pain in the backside to break through. Um, so Rotom's sort of forced to come. Yeah. Um, I would love to see Swadloons try something crazy with Melodic, uh, with with you know running a bit of bulk and like maybe even a coil scale shot set would be pretty cool. Or I a love set would be nice, but... I love coil hypnosis Melodic. That's my oh, yeah, that's nice. That's a that's a double set I used to run. That's a great. It's I'm not gonna say it's a great set, but when it works, it really works. It's better in doubles when you can put everything to sleep. 
But um, something I see for Annihilate, I've never uh, had this matchup with Corviknight against Annihilate. If Corviknight has Whirlwind, I think it can switch in on Annihilate infinitely. If you run Rocky Helmet Roost Whirlwind. But I don't know that it has Whirlwind. But if it does, I feel like that's yeah, I just... I, I somehow think it doesn't, for some reason, doesn't have Whirlwind. Yeah, I've never seen it, which is weird because, like... It's a bird. I don't know why it doesn't have that. But another... What else I see here is that... Um, Swab Loons has the advantage of having two mixed attackers. And I think if you run mixed Valiant and mixed Dragonite, it beats the whole team. Like, so... Uh, yes. Draco Meteor... Like... Uh, Earthquake, Roost... Thunderbolt, like, yeah, Rotom Wash is there, right? You have to take it out, but it has no real recovery, right? So I if you run that mix set and game. they don't know you're running it, like if they set out Visidipity, yeah. you D-Dance. D-Dance with Draco, I think, is really good in this game. Um, yeah, I, I don't hate well, well, um, Hurricane here for Annihilate either. And then uh, also you can run Special Valiant with close combat and give it just enough attack to at least severely damage the Heatran, right? So you know, you probably... If it's going to be a berry in this game, I feel like it should be Earthquake on the Dragonite so that then it really is like a physical and special switch-in at the very least. But if you have Valiant with just uh, Fairy, like let's say uh, Moonblast, Thunderbolt, Calm Mind, close combat... I think that beats almost everything here. Again, except for Fez. May maybe instead... Well, whatever. You get what I'm saying. Like, it, o they only have one piece that needs to fall. And then one of these mixed sweepers kind of wins the game. Um, I, I think um, I think Poison, Terra, um, Krogan is going to come. Like, when you're looking at it, if that Poison Deputy is special... Then that's a plus for Cryogon. I think Cryogon is actually really, really solid here. Um, as long as he can handle Annihilate. Yeah. Um, Rotom can't really break it at all. Uh, obviously, clearly, the Alala Momola doesn't break anything. Yeah. Pheasant Divinity, if it's not physical, it can't break. Um, and yeah, it can tank anything special on that. Also, that I, think, uh... I think I'd love to see the Steel Terror, yeah. but the fact there's a whole Heatran there. Yeah, I um, think. I think yeah. set up, uh, again, it's just set up Ogre Pond with the right moves, right? Beats everything. Low kick, yeah. play rough, grass move. Swords dance. Yeah. Because it outspeeds yeah. everything um, naturally, right? Yes, it's the fastest model on the field. So, oh, no, it's not. It doesn't outspeed cycles up. Yeah, but I think it could probably take, because this is the sturdy one. So, I think I'm going to go just from everything that I just said. Obviously, either of these teams can win because there's Annihilate, there's Garchomp, there's Heatran. Like, there's Knacklestack, Terra. We didn't really even look to see if there's anything that can break this. Um, if this is Terra Water Iron Defense, or t maybe in this game it might be better Terra Ghost Iron Defense. Um, there's not really anything great that can damage it, like Spadef. Um, and then the be the physical and the special wall are both taking 25 from Salt Cure. So, so uh, that's a thing. Garchomp, if Garchomp goes down, Specs Reggie Alecki goes through him. Yeah, the thing is, like, guys, if, if you never had like Reggie Alecki, if you never had Reg Alecki or played against it, my, my number one piece of advice to tokens is you must bring Garchomp, and if you do and you see Alecki, you better not let this thing die before Alecki dies. Because if you do, you yes. will lose the game, almost every single time. Um, like I could almost, I could almost see a world that he brings Terra Ground on um, Tropius, Tropius just as an insurance policy. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, but I don't like that. I don't like Tropius in this game. Yeah. I think this is a Swal Swaloons game for me, just because as somebody who's run Heatran. Before I do think Heatran is really good, but it, it opens you up to a, in draft. It opens you up to a lot of mixed attacking options because it's not that hard to kill it with Earthquake, and I think Heatran is generally better as a special wall. Like if you're gonna, most of the time you're gonna run this with a lot of defense investment, or it's gonna be an HP and special attack. Um, and 
things just with earthquake coverage with decent attack, like, you know, the classic Latios tech with the earthquake that kills the Heatran, um, it does open you up to that, and I think because Valiant also has the fighting coverage, it opens these things up to be mixed, so there's no way a Loma Mola is walling special Valiant. Physical Valiant, sure. Unless they do, like, the stupid Mirror Coat set, which... I mean, it has the move slot for it, but I just... This, I'm an Amola hater. Like, this is the reason why, because I think it opens you up to, like, Dragonite set up here. It can't really come in on it um, be, until you know the set, like, unless you knew it was Choice Ban. So, I'm going to go with Swaloons here. I'm going to... I don't know. I'm feeling 60-40, but out of respect for Tokyo, I'm going to go 55-45 Swaloons. Yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I'm 55-45. I just... I'm looking at... There's just positives on both sides. Yeah. Um, but I think Iron Valiant late game or Reggie Alecki late game could absolutely be yeah, just I think, terrifying. Yeah, I think the speed makes the difference because the speed on Tokyo is not strong. Like, it, Cyclozar is a good Pokemon, but it's not strong. And uh, if Mianxiao or Annihilate or Scarf, they're just not that strong. Like, they're, they're decent cleaners, but they need a ton of setup by the rest of the team to clean up late game. Iron Valiant needs barely any setup to clean up late game just by being Iron Valiant. Same thing with Alecky. The only setup Alecky needs is the ground is gone. That's all he needs. So, um, yeah. based on that, this is the reason why we ranked Swaloons over Tokyo, essentially, is this speed thing, and I think it's already showing up the first week. Yeah. It's um, going to be an interesting game. Really, really excited to see how it pans out. Yep. So, that is going to wrap up our week one coverage we got this one coming out a little bit late but we're gonna try to get the week two one out earlier uh hopefully this is helpful and entertaining for people does there anything you want to say before we head head out no um I'm, I'm hoping to have yeah it's week two done by um on my wednesday probably your tuesday at some time or do it on that day uh would be nice and uh yeah have a good have a good week guys and then we'll uh talk to you soon okay good luck to all the pbo sunset players we are out